Just hours ago, students and teachers released balloons. This was at Mansfield Timberview High School. They have been through a lot, and they said they did this out of respect for all those who were injured in last Wednesday's shooting at the school. And they got some good news tonight. Teacher Calvin Pettit, one of those who was hurt, was released from the hospital today. Students, uh, students and teachers do return to school tomorrow. And our Aaron Jones has some new information straight from the superintendent about the security plan. Tonight we spoke to parents and students who say there are a lot of emotions heading into the first day back at school since last Wednesday's shooting. And tonight, district officials say they're addressing those emotions, going over how they plan to keep this campus safe. She was in her government class when she heard two gunshots. Her teacher told everyone to get down. At the time, I was a little shocked. But then I got myself together. I was getting prepared just in case I had to run. And I texted my mom to let her know what was happening and what was going on. Timberview High School senior Brooklyn Porter telling her mom she's in lockdown. Her mother, Monica, responding, stay calm and pray. Fear of the unknown is what was going through my head, knowing that I was away at work and how long it was going to take me to get to the school was another fear um, and I just didn't know what to expect. In the days that followed, they've done a lot of reflecting and thinking about that day. I thought, what are the extra precautions that they might take going into the year going back to school? In a recorded video message, Mansfield ISD Superintendent Kimberly Cantu says when students and staff return to class, there will be counseling services, heightened security, and police presence until further notice. She's hoping to reestablish a school safety committee comprised of community stakeholders. We do have a safety and security expert with us on staff. The one thing I think, which I'm not sure if that's going to help because I know there's a lot of expenses that goes into it, are metal detectors. I know metal detector detectors will detect if something is coming in the building that shouldn't. Heading into tomorrow. I feel that Timberview is still going to be a safe place. I don't feel like Timberview is not a safe place, um, but the extra precautions, I do feel like there is a small need. And additionally, Mansfield superintendent says police and the district are investigating allegations that the shooting suspect was bullied. She says the district takes any claims of bullying very seriously. In Arlington, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Aaron.